got a video from Kurz. We've got your body kills cancer five minutes ago. Let's check this out and see what we got, man. Somewhere in your body, your immune system just quietly killed one of your own cells, stopping uh. it from becoming cancer and saving your life. It does that all the time. I've heard about this. The vast this. majority of cancer cells you develop will be killed without you ever noticing, which is an incredibly hard job because of what cancer cells are. Parts of yourself that start to behave as individuals even if it hurts you. What is cancer and how does your body kill it all the time? So pretty much everyone has this, right? But your immune system's just like killing it off. Cancer is when corrupted cells multiply uncontrollably. Wait, 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 wait. Right, right, right. Listen, in today's world, right, if your immune system kills off cancer cells, when you get cancer, wouldn't you be able to just kill off those cells? Like, we have, we have so much technology now. Do you think it's like... I don't know, because they, they, they wouldn't keep that away from the people, right? It can emerge from basically every type of cell in your body, so there's not just a single type of cancer, but hundreds. Some grow slowly, others are aggressive, some can be treated effectively, others right. are deadly. In a sense, a cell that becomes cancer turns into something ancient and something new. Over billions of years, evolution has molded cells to survive and thrive in a hostile environment, fighting for space and resources until a new and exciting way of life emerged, cooperation, a division of labor that allowed cells to specialize and become more successful together. What is that? But cooperation is that fish? requires sacrifices. Well, hey, that's looking For fish. a multicellular being to stay healthy, the well-being of the collective has to matter more than the survival of the individual cell. Cancer cells stop being part of the collective and become individuals again. Your body can handle a few rogue cells, but some cancer cells divide again and again, becoming a sort of new organism within you, taking resources you need to survive, competing for the space you inhabit, right. destroying the organs they were part of in the process. Despite the harm they cause, cancer cells are not evil. They don't want to hurt you. They don't want anything. Cells are ah. protein robots that just follow their programming, which unfortunately has been corrupted. The soul of the cell. Bro, the immune nutshell, system's your crazy. cells have a nucleus filled with DNA. It consists of genes, instructions for how to build proteins and when to make each one. These building instructions are copied and transferred to ribosomes where they're used to make proteins. This is pretty much why it's like mainly genetics, right? So like if you if you have like a, um, uh, if, if your family uh, suffers with cancer, you're more than likely gonna end up getting it because like the way that your DNA is copied the cells from your parents and stuff. So like, Ah, uh, ah, uh, interesting. interesting. What kind of proteins your cells make determine what they can do. Hopefully in the, the future we can thing just like... is that a corrupt gene means you get a corrupt protein, this. which will get important later. Your DNA gets a tiny bit corrupted. It mutates tens of thousands of times each day. DNA is Most so interesting. Most of the time without any special cause, just by being alive. Like, I heard... I know this isn't about this video, but I heard something about like eventually they're gonna be able to make it so like you can customize your baby <laughs> do you know what i'm saying like so like you you've got a baby right and then you could go to the doctors or whatever and you could be like right okay so i want blonde hair blue eyes whatever right or i want hazel eyes green eyes purple eyes right and they can adjust it in the dna almost all of these mutations are fixed very quickly imagine that or are not problematic Still, over time, as your cells make copies of themselves, damage is accumulating. Imagine having to make copies from copies from copies for decades. Maybe one day a hair got on the scanner or a corner got frayed. Yo! Each new mistake becomes part of the new copies and all the copies that follow. So we get worse over time? You can increase DNA damage by doing things like smoking, drinking alcohol, by being obese, breathing in asbestos, by not using sunscreen, or contracting a virus like... What is, what is asbestos? What is this? What is this? HPV. But the simplest way to damage DNA and get cancer is to be alive long enough. For many cancer cases, there is well, no sucks. cause other than bad luck. The damage that leads to cancer. It's we are actually so scary that like, you can just be living your life and then all of a sudden you get hit with cancer, man. It, it, it sucks. It actually but roughly, sucks. there are three categories of genes that need to be corrupted so cancer can arise. The first key mutation is in the appropriately named tumor suppressor genes, or TSGs. 
These genes are a bunch of things. For one, they produce control mechanisms that continuously scan your DNA for mistakes and copying errors and fix them right away. And then they keep normal cells from multiplying recklessly. If TSGs become damaged, your cells basically forget how to repair themselves and can reproduce unchecked. Uh -oh. The second crucial mutation can happen in your oncogenes. oncogenes. When oncogenes are turned on, the cell is told to multiply rapidly. They were super active when you were inside your mother's womb. To turn a single original cell into trillions in months, it needs to divide and grow rapidly. These you know what? Like watching videos like this just makes my mind just like it, it just makes me wonder, right? When you learn about immune system and DNAs and or, or all the genes and stuff, right? Surely we'll be able to modify it in the future to the point where like you could stop aging because it's just your, it's just your genes It's just your cells, right? Replace them change them alt them uh, Add new ones. Do you know what I mean? Surely you'll be able to like stop aging fix all this and the rapid growth genes are turned off when there's enough of you When your oncogenes get corrupted, they basically turn on again The third crucial mutation is in your cells suicide switch most huh? cells are constantly recycled and refreshed. Right. When cells amass too much damage, they usually notice, and special genes trigger a controlled suicide called apoptosis. If the genes that control this process get damaged, cells are free to live on despite being dangerously corrupted. So, if a cell becomes unable to fix the mistakes in its genetic code, loses the ability to destroy itself when it notices the damage, and begins to grow rapidly without restraint, it turns into a young cancer cell. These cells have to be killed as quickly as possible. While they are bad at this stage, they are still pretty weak and easy to kill. But if they continue to mutate and increase in number, they can learn to avoid your defenses and become a real threat. At any moment of your life, your immune system is hunting these cells. But how do you identify and kill corrupted yeah. cells that seem indistinguishable from healthy ones? How to find cancer? Yeah, how do you well, do? I was just about to say, like, uh, I don't know too much about like treatment, like cancer treatment, but like, don't they use radiation and like hit the right spot? Wouldn't they kill like all good cells as well? Is that why you get like extremely ill when you do the treatment? Here we come back to the proteins your cells produce and the story they tell. So if, for example, your oncogenes switch back on, they make oncogene proteins. Your immune system knows that they should not be present if you're an adult. So to know which cells are corrupt and which are healthy, your immune system needs to know what proteins they're making inside. To solve this, evolution came up it's with so MHC complex. class 1 molecules, a sort of display window that makes cells transparent. Cells constantly take little samples of the proteins they make and put them into thousands of these MHC molecules to showcase what they're doing. The selection is constantly refreshed, always giving an up-to-date picture. There's a whole library of proteins that are highly dangerous and should not be made by healthy cells, and your immune system has them all on they're file. They're all dangerous? It has billions of specialized cells called T-cells made to recognize specific proteins. That's mad. If a T-cell sees a forbidden protein in an MHC display window, it knows that the cell is corrupted and kills it immediately. This is in our body. But there's a flaw <laughs> in this system. That's what if crazy, a cell man. Mutates and finds a way to circumvent this process. All it needs to do is to stop making MHC class 1 molecules and boom, it's invisible. Without display windows, the immune system is blind and can't identify cancer anymore. Fortunately, evolution found an ingenious solution, the natural killer cell. A judge, jury and executioner. The killer. At this very second, hundreds of millions of natural killer cells are patrolling your body looking for cells that have already turned into cancer or are corrupted by a virus. Natural killer cells go from cell to cell to check for one thing. Does a cell have MHC class 1 molecules? Does it have a display window and is it doing its duty of showing off what's going on inside itself? This is so amazing because it covers all of your bases. This is mad. While T cells look for the presence of the unexpected, something that should not be here, natural killer cells look for the absence of the expected, the absence of something that should be here. The logic is like if I'm tired of watching this right now, and I'm like, I'm thinking like, bro, I'm in my body. Well, like I am me, right? I got my legs, I got my arms, I got my skin, I got my eyes. You know what I mean? But inside of me, I'm like, it's just bones, meat, whatever. You forget that this is going on, right? Like, thi this is mad, bro. If a cell does not have display windows, this is crazy. it wants to hide something. And a cell that hides something must be killed. 
What makes the natural killer cell even more metal is that it's always in murder mode. It patrols your body, checking cell after cell with the intention of killing it. Your healthy cells have to convince it that they should not die today. And a way to do that is to have MHC class 1 molecules. So, in summary, almost all young cancer cells you will ever develop in your life will be killed by your immune system. Okay, but if right. your body is this prepared, why do we still get cancer? Well, sometimes cancer cells mutate more and get much better at fighting back. Cancer is a story of an arms race. An arms race that we will win eventually, maybe with the help of natural killer cells. Yep. Right now, a number of therapies are beginning to show... Am Can't we, like, just inject more of them in, in, in our bodies? ...amazing promise from cancer-fighting vaccines to engineered T-cells and even natural killer cells. Yeah, that's what we'll I'm look saying. look at these therapies in future videos. So, the war is not won yet, but we are on to cancer, and eventually, it will be eliminated once and for all. God. Maybe sooner than we think. Go, 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 go. Positive. This video Positive was made end. possible in part because by direct viewer support. You hear so many, like, uh, uh, people watching this. you probably got people in your family. I know people that's had it and stuff. It shouldn't be there. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? It, it, it just needs a... How do I say this without getting demonetized on YouTube? It just needs a... <laughs> it needs a go away, man. It needs a go away. But really good video. Enjoy that. Really interesting. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it as well. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to leave a thumbs up, subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.